Come on, baby, I can teach you. I'm a high fool. Mama said I'm smoking too much reefer. Hit the plug and then I re up. Used to flip kicks up at recess. I fuck school. Probably because I made more than my teachers. I ain't learned a single lesson. Come on, baby, I can teach you. I'm a high fool. Mama said I'm smoking too much reefer. We're number one. The Wild Wild West. Hello, we're live. <laughs> Welcome hey. to Matt and Shane's Secret Podcast. What's going on, dude? We're here with Sean Gardini, the biggest superstar. <laughs> the biggest superstar, Sean Gardini, the Superman. Are you the Superman? No. You're the, the hell, super man? Italian man. Big Italian boy. No, I'm not. I'm just a normal guy. Yeah, right. How how <laughs> into your Italian heritage are you, to be, to be honest? Um, I'd say about I'm half Irish, so... I give each half. They deny it, dude. Tom's half Irish too. They, really? They go strong wop. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Which no, side I, do you I like more? I embrace my Irish heritage. Oh. Which side do you like more? He likes his papas. He loves his dad. I love my daddy. I love my mommy too. You don't love your mom as much. They're both half Irish, half Italian. Oh, oh really? Okay. Yeah. So Grammy and Grandpa were uh, were uh, Irish and Italian, each full blood. Full blood. Yes. None of that half blood crap. None of that half blood <laughs> crap. I can't. I hate it. <laughs> half blood. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I'm a little bit of like Finland or something. Like you definitely finish Finland in me, dude. I fucking hate it, dude. Yeah, I would hate that. <laughs> Impure, that impurity. I'll never look it up. Oh, dude, I'd... I'm pissed. I'm <clears throat> probably half Scottish. Yeah, I spent my whole life being like, dude, just 100 percent Irish. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Turns out I'm fucking Scottish too. I, 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 had I actually my... fuck with Scotland <clears throat> too, though. Heavy. Scotland fucking rules, dude. Yeah, Scotland's a strong holdout. Technically, I'm Canadian. Why do you think my my mom's side, the Kilkennys, came over to Canada first? Yeah, but they probably Nova Scotia action. They probably fled. They're probably getting like. And I think my grandpapa went out to Saskatchewan for a while. What? Yeah. But you got some Canadian. You're, you're, I'm a bit of a Canadian. That's why my heart's just torn over this whole trucker situation. How long ago was your family in Canada? Uh, I think they came from my my mom's side from Ireland to Canada. So they might have been trading a couple of fucking beaver pelts. They were trading pelts, dude. Trading some pelts, dude. <laughs> yeah, they might have been. Dude, who knows? Who knows? A lot of the French, dude, love their pelts. They love dude. a beaver pelt. Dude. They love pelts. They blew it, dude. They came here and got la- they lost on the flash. What do you mean? They could have just dominated, but like, nah, this, this place is only good for pelts. Yeah. They blew it. Yeah, they did blow it. How do you guys like yourselves now? You yeah. fucking idiots. France, nice going. Dumbasses. <laughs> how do you see how do you see those dumbasses doing in the next fifty to a hundred years? France? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're not gonna stick with us. They I rely mean, on Russian <laughs> Russian oil. Yeah, the 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 gas and the oil too. Yeah, they have yeah. oil too. Yeah, they'll uh if they if they align whoever lines with America is gonna come out good in this. That's the only thing you gotta do. Yeah, we're the best. Yeah, knock What do you think about this... the Ukraine, dude? That'll be tough. That that'll be tough. I got in a battle with my girlfriend over the Ukraine. What was her problem? She just wanted to fight very clearly. <laughs> <laughs> it is nice though to keep fights to that. Yeah, it was the. I've never been more angry. Why? Because we were fighting over Russia, Ukraine. Well, who, what were you saying? I was, I was like, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> so you were Swiss. You were Swiss. I was fully like, dude, I'm not going to nuclear war over Ukraine. Yeah, yeah. And then so I started saying, looking into it, dude. Yeah. Don't look into that. Don't About look what? into Ukraine, dude. What do you mean? You'll see, Putin's got some decent points. He, dude, that's the one thing He's got I will some say. Decent points on this. <clears throat> I don't want. I don't want to turn. I don't want to get like it most misaligned. conflicts. Both sides tend to have decent points. Yeah, Putin sometimes pulls my heartstrings. I'll like make a case, talking. and I'm like, eh. dude, you remember that motorcycle gang for his security in the Adam Curtis stock? That fucking rule. that's pulling my fucking heartstrings. <laughs> that kind of fucking rule. They were they were like, remember the swords of your grandfather, the Eurasian. It was like, yo, Do you remember he? Those guys uh, are a problem. Or he he banned, I think, recently banned Pornhub, allegedly. He banned Pornhub and was like, go meet someone in real life. No. I swear to God, look it up, Gardini, look it up. <laughs> okay. What got, the fuck? kind of fucking rules. He banned Pornhub and was like, knock it the fuck off. Yeah, go get a pussy, dude. Dude, people are going to be incentivized to have kids pretty shortly. 30 years or so, they're going to be like, come on, let's go. Yeah, we need to, I, I don't like it. We. I'm with Bill Gates, dude. We need to depopulate. We are. We're definitely, we're on course. Great. 
Uh, Bill Gates. Wasn't his dad allegedly a eugenicist? A eugenicist? Yeah. Allegedly. Of course, that's Bill Gates' fucking motto. But I haven't heard allegedly. him. He's, he really piped down. Yeah, he shut up, dude. Yeah, he really piped Everybody down. Said, shut up, dork. Uh, I think we should have done it. What? Someone should have been like, shut the fuck up. You ever see him get pied in the face? <laughs> no. <what? laughs> so the pie- ultimate dork, dude. Someone pied he him? He became a little angry dork after he got pied. <laughs> <laughs> Who pied him? I don't when? know. A fucking lone pieman. <laughs> <laughs> he fucking pied him right in the <laughs> fucking a struggled schnoz, baker, dude. dude. Hold on, oh. I got I to show you this pieing. Pornography is banned in Russia. Yeah, Porn, dude. Pornhub and you porn. <laughs> Uh, authorities have told citizens to meet people in real life. Direct quote. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yes. They have a whole... Uh, Bill Gates pie in face. <laughs> you can Google it. This is a good week. Was this, this on the recently? news? That might be dude. the intro. No, this is very old. This is right when he began. His, he was like, we need to depopulate. Let me see oh, this. This is, dude, this is a great pie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my, oh, he goes in a full like, nerd full posture. Dork. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Oh. oh, I'd be fuming if someone pied me on the way to like a courtroom. <laughs> he was all in, in, on camera too. Yeah, he was like, "Hi, everybody." If he had played sports, I think he would have avoided that pie. There's nothing you can do to avoid that pie, dude. If he had played sports, then came around a pillar. Just true, walking, true. Just, <laughs> well, he would have been more aware. I always, dude. If I'm walking around a pillar, I'm fucking like, oh, checking for pies. I'm checking for pies, dude. <laughs> get pie, Getting public dude. pied. <laughs> also, that gunman, dude, carrying a pie all day. Just standing oh behind a pillar God. with a pie, people had to walk by like, no way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> what's he doing with that? Did he not eat it? Just holding a cream pie, dude. <laughs> That's also like, how do you know where Thick Bill Gates CP. is going? He's ready. <laughs> he stocked him. He, he gave him. Bill Gates a CP. <laughs> Absolute CP on oh, the steps. Dude. CP'd on camera, dude. It's brutal. It is brutal. Since then, he's become a nasty little dork. And he's he like, was a nasty little everybody. dork. He was. He was. He was people nasty. hated him in Microsoft. Mm. Dude, they hated him back in the day. Yeah, but they hate. Everybody hates a great man. And let's not get it twisted, dude. Gates is, Gates is clearly a great man. Good or bad. He's he's a powerful man, but yeah. I, I I would I don't know in all I'm going through the whole axes of like a great man, mm. like a warrior king. Definitely not. He is what a about farmer. Napoleon? I don't know. No, I don't know if about him. Apparently he blew it, but you know he was getting it done for a while. Yeah. I I would say I like Napoleon. You know what happened to Napoleon? Gates. What happened to the boy? Tried to invade Russia. You can't do it, bro. True. Yep. Old German. General Winter comes around. That's their that's their best commander. Is that his downfall? General Winter. That was his full downfall. Yeah, they got chased back by the Ruskies. Has anyone? Conquered and then the he Ruskies? lost at Waterloo. Man. Has anybody what? Has anyone conquered the Ruskies? The Ruskies Besides and Turks? Turks? No, I don't think so. Uh, the Turks were fighting them yeah. for a while. The Ottoman Empire was battling down there, but no, you can't go into Russia. Yeah, the same the thing. Germans. The Nazis collapsed doing it. Yeah, dude, that's. I guarantee you, Bill Gates wouldn't get thirty feet into Russia. Into Russia, no chance. He would get CP'd like nine times. <laughs> he get dude. pied, dude. He'd probably get real life <laughs> pied. They got those horny Russians now. No one gets porn up. He'd probably get real life Damn. pied. Good for them for banning pornography. <sighs> it's that's nice for the people, dude. You get to revert back to for the people. You get to revert back to like magazines. Yeah, dude. Going into a gas station buying a fucking porno, dude. I do shower beats now, just pure. That's nice. Pure, yeah. Purely in the fucking. I miss space. beats, dude. I've been with my lady too much. Yeah. I haven't been beaten at all. Tell her you need me time. I like to save my seed for my lady. Dude, that... You have to save it for her. You have to, man. But... You must. I'm I'm ready for a good me time. <laughs> you need some me time. You're going to oh, be on the road, wait. Too. I'm going to be we'll on be the road. Oh, that's we'll me time. We'll be fapping like Salt crazy, Lake's dude. me time, Yeah, we'll dude. be fapping like crazy. I'm in Providence <gasps> this weekend. Me time. <laughs> 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 I'm I'm busting in there, dude. It is crazy I'm though, because if you're if you're having sex regularly and you finally get to jerk off, it it is like does not, rule nice, especially hiding on the couch when she's in the bedroom. Oh, <laughs> you go, mommy, don't catch me. <laughs> <laughs> we have I have guys. We have terrible news. What? Uh, went to try to play oh, hoops today. Shit. Tore the muscles off of both of my legs. So yeah, I'm dead. That's what happens, dude. You sit around for 10 years, and then you decide to train hard for three weeks. You're going hard as fuck. Your legs explode, turns out. I was wondering about that. I was wondering if this guy was going to ease you in. No. he's Well, I mean, it's easy workouts, but it's very hard for me. Yeah, well, still. Although we did max out this week. Yeah. That fucked me up. 
Yeah, dude. Maxed out on deadlifts, <laughs> maxed out on bench. <laughs> Jesus, man. No wonder you're fucking... Well, it was just to it was just to see where we're at. True. Like a starting point. Like it wasn't like I wasn't in there like Dah. Yeah, you're just like Although oh. on bench I was. I was sad, dude. Two hundred. Hit two hundred I had to add two and a half, so I was like, dude, I'm not doing one ninety five. Nah, bro. Two hundred. Gotta hit two hundred. This is How's the chest feel then? It's uh it's a little little sore today. That's I had not to bad. do presses too. Which I've never looked more. You know, I know it's a running gag. A lot of people think it's a big joke to say that I look like I have some type of mental disability. <laughs> <laughs> you got to see me doing a fucking straight bar press. What, what's, what's, oh, you're doing fucking. My, <laughs> it's, it's so bad, dude. You're doing a strong man. Right in front of the mirror. Just, <laughs> <laughs> just my face going straight down. Guy's like, Jesus Christ. He's, he's off like, the charts. He's unbelievable. He's off the charts, dude. Uh, yeah, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. Definitely. You're on the injured list. Hip flexors on both legs are fucked. We went to play basketball and today. It's a real shame. We went Matt, to do a little reconnaissance. You balled out today. It was all, it was all right. And guys, let me tell right. you, the wager has just gone up. Yeah. I'll I'd bet I'd bet everything on this. Yeah, this is uh This is a, this is a win. Yeah. It's a lock. That's pink. It's a lock. That's keys. You dominated today. It was I was all right. It was Matt, all right. I played you all dominated. right. I played all right. I didn't I should have took a more I was you know, I was trying to feed the balls, create opportunities. You didn't have any scorers on your team. A con man, not a good scorer. Great defense, Dude, crazy great defender. hustle. We, I had uh, crashing boards. Crazy O'Connor's fundamentals. Are O'Connor's sound great. I also had a little three point machine though too. Oh yeah, Jimmy. Jimmy, bro. Jimmy was towards the end. I Jimmy. discovered Jimmy. I was so I always when I'm playing, I always encourage. My he teammates. Hit, did you see him hit that when I was doing it to him? Did he? Oh he yeah, made yeah, a three yeah. And I was like, oh. and he goes. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yes, dude. Yeah, I always encourage yes. my teammates to take shots, dude. That's one thing about me. I just want everyone to have fun and play as hard as they can. And I was, I didn't know he could shoot. I'm like, dude, take that all day. And he started yeah. draining them. I was like, oh, sweet. yeah. He was hitting them in warm ups. So. Yeah, dude. He started draining them. It was that a was... bummer though. I felt, I felt the <clears throat> the hip flexors have been hurting me for about a week. Yeah. The it, it first happened. I so I worked out during the day, did deadlifts and squats, mm. and then on stage I did an act out. <laughs> Where I like bent down, oh. and I got both my legs like locked. Could you sue the stage, comedy club? Like, <laughs> Could you sue the club that got injured on stage? Maybe that'd be a nice workman's comp. Yeah, just destroy the comedy seller. Be the first workman's comp they could afford. <laughs> they could get one guy on. Comp. No, I'd like to take ownership. Oh, of comedians could fucking if comedians figured out they could do that. It'd be for over. the people, for the people, dude, for the labor orders. <laughs> I would the working my man, CRV. the Dude, comedian, uh, the laborer. If you get injured at a comedy club, I'm parking my CRV right in front. Oh yeah, I'm gonna block that road off, whatever it is, dude. And they'll they'll bend. You'd be like Artie Fuqua. Have you ever seen his? No, I was agreeing. He was in a he was in a Tracy Morgan's bus that got hit by a fucking Walmart truck. Yeah, yeah. Artie's loaded, so he wears like three piece suits, pulls up in a G wagon. <laughs> what? And then hosts. <laughs> And he murders. He's great. Really? Yeah. There's a couple guys at the cellar that are like the best hosts. Really? You can ever imagine. Yeah, like that's getting a, the crowd pump, doing crowd work for. I mean, it's it's pretty. No, he's nasty at hosting. Keith from up the block. Yeah, he is vicious host. Dude. Yeah, he's, yes. he gets the crowd pumped as fuck. Yes. Yeah, he's Keith from up the block. Is dude, Artie will me. introduce you like you're coming to a fight. He's like, coming to the stage. And I'm standing there like, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then I go on and tear my quad doing an act out. <laughs> what was the act out? Uh, don't worry about it, bro. <laughs> uh, secret. Yeah, it was funny, though, because Monday, yesterday, I was lifting with my, my guy. I was lifting yeah. with my trainer. Yeah. And I was like, I can feel it, dude. I'm getting a lot better, a lot stronger. <laughs> Today, oh, I can't play. Dude, this is part of your journey, dude. It sucks. This is part of your, this is the time of your fitness journey where you do a long Instagram post, like a very deep yeah. text. Be like, hey, Jen guys. Hanks has been hitting the Instagram with the workouts. Dude, he allegedly he's, stole Wes Watson's program. I'm big on doing. allegedly right now. He does burpees and then he stands up and goes. He trained with Watson. Yeah. He trained with Wes Watson. Really? Yes. He was one of on Wes Watson's squad and apparently was like, all right, later. And he started his own thing. Mm. I mean, Wes might have signed off. Was he locked up with Wes? No, no, no. He never served with Wes. No, he wasn't in with the White Wes. No, Chad Hanks. Yeah. So how do you how do you train together? Just Wes post? Watson's out. Wes bro. Watson's Watson. He lives home, in Dago, bro. bro. Oh, I didn't know he was Wes home. Okay. He's in a Forget penthouse, it. dude. And do you follow Wes Watson at all? Gardner, no, you just guys are following Wes Watson. I just have dude. secondhand Wes from you guys. <laughs> no, nah, you gotta start. I'm I'm gonna I want to request that you follow Wes every day. I will. I got my homework ready. Yeah, dude. Wes every day and some vegetables. I don't see you eat any vegetables. Yeah, I've been dude. hitting my trainer with what I've I eat. It's so fun. What's he say? Dude, the other day when Chris had his birthday, they, we got cake. Yeah. For Christopher's birthday. Nice. So the Happy next birthday, day Chris. I had to go into training and I was like, you want to know what I had yesterday? Like I, I'll tell him just to fuck with him and be like, what? I'd be like, 
So I had a bacon, egg, and cheese in the morning. He's like, that's not good. <laughs> and then I was like, it was like, then I had a burrito for lunch. And he was like, Ugh. better? <laughs> and I was like, and then I had, I think I had about 15 beers and cake at 1.30. And he was like, well, you're wasting your time then. <laughs> he was so <laughs> mad. He was like, well, then what are we doing? And I was like, dude, I'm having cake at 1.30. Yeah, dude. There's nothing you can do. What are you big? What am I, what am I doing? I'm, yeah, I'm working hard. What would I be working out for? Working hard for I was cake. doing that without working out before. Yeah. What the hell? Tell me you're bulking, man. I'm fucking bulking. I'm bulking. Yeah, that's probably, know, yeah. Hey, you know shit? It's cheat my, meal. It was a cheat meal. You're exactly right. Yeah, true, dude. <laughs> I've, had, I've had a couple cheat meals. You gotta treat yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, it was just a big game. Yeah. Matt, Subi. who'd you have in the soup? Dude, if I didn't do money line, I would have been great. Yeah, you would have. I shouldn't have done that's that. How, that's how it works. It sucks. Yeah, I had but, the Rams minus four. They won by three. I mean, I called I the under. I lost all my money. Oh, what? I lost all of my money. I'm yeah, back. I called the under and I called the, uh, you know, I called they basically wouldn't cover the spread. I had, I I had, Rams, I had Rams minus four and the under. Blew it. Yeah. Well, dude, I mean, how how do they do that in Vegas? I don't that, know. That's great. Well, do they? you think they have all the numbers. So they might be able to just like. Cal- they might be able to go back in time to be like every single time this team plays this team they oh, score they this do, much. Yeah. Can, how do you get that though? Okay, can you get that software? Yeah. So how, what the fuck? That's it. Let's just do that. You got start it. Betting. You want to start being? You want to make the lines? Yeah, let's crack. What's the word there? I don't know. Make the lines. It's not bookie. There's a. Uh, well, man. whatever. Mafia nerd. Yeah. <laughs> Mafia dork. <laughs> Wop bitch. <laughs> Sean, close yours. Sean. <gasps> Sean closed one ear. Yeah. Damn, dude. Let that other side revel in real. This is real. It was a real sad moment to have to sit out of the pickup basketball game. Dude. That hurt me. That hurt my pride I immensely. Know, dude. And I don't I should have I should have leaned into the injury more. I, I just was like, no, I can't. I was in immense pain. Yeah, dude. I should have laid on the ground and like, ah. Dude, when you went to that jump. Way people believe me. Yeah, you went to jump and I saw that. I was like, oh, oh dude, you're yeah, fucked up. Yeah, it was bad. You're fucked up. It was up. very, very bad. Yeah, man. I would so hopefully been. it's hopefully it's a week. I would say, yeah. I gotta go in tomorrow. And give, Hit the thankfully essence. we're just gonna be crushing upper body and core strength. Probably yeah, curls, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna be. You start working out in a wheelchair. <laughs> two weeks. I mean, that's basically what I'm doing. <laughs> I really is like I'm moving my legs like lightly. Dude, and you, just, should, <laughs> you should go. You should just for the next two weeks go full wheelchair. Oh no! Anytime your legs hurt, just. Wheelchair. I need to Epson. You're right. Epson, and in the meantime, we'll go on stage. We get guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it sucks. Play. I have a fucking show tonight, dude. I can't do any of my cool act outs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucked. Dude, be a part time wheelchair comic. Did you ever work with a wheelchair comic? Uh, no, I don't think I have. I did. I was there one time. There's a dude. I think this was at the Laugh House. There's a black dude. He used to rip like wheelies and shit. He was nasty. <laughs> it was so nasty. Yeah, yeah, dude, you could, dude, you could. There's something saying you can't rock a wheelchair. You can go into the airport and be like, "Can I have a wheelchair?" I've please? seen and that. You're not allowed to ask questions. I've seen it done, bro. And you just crush the lines. Go straight through the lines. Oh. Get on the plane. Oh, great time. Yeah, you put a pregnant wife in a wheelchair at the airport. Nice. Have you have you done that? Yeah. Oh, that's. She nice. was, you know, she was like, oh, she big was very fuck. pregnant. She was like, I'm not gonna be able to make it and all, all this, dude. You put her in the wheelchair and it's just like. You same. go around all the shit. It's so fucking nasty. Even if you're with a person in a wheelchair, you get VIP treatment. I'm always I'm always tempted to hop on that fucking old people cart that drives around. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm always there's always open seats. Just beeping at whoever's walking in front of you. Just hitch. Yeah. Just collapse in front of it. <laughs> oh, there you like are. Like a trolley, dude. Just stand on the side. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you are. Oh, like the beginning me. of Full House. Speaking of Full House, did you see what happened to Bob Saget? Yes, he, he fucking died. He cracked his head multiple times. He cracked times? his head, dude. Who the fu- what the fuck happened to him? I don't know. Did, did you Murder. see the, like autopsy thing? No. Mm-hmm. And then he and then they start <laughs> playing fucking Fleetwood Mac. Yeah, you gotta let your feelings. Cut. Oh, yeah. so good. Dude. You gotta let the feelings. Marvel get as movies big as it suck can. dick. Yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy does rule. <laughs> yeah. is good. Doctor Strange too. I was fucking livid. You fumed. Fumed. Wow. Just got hit with the CNN flight attendants. <sighs> Now it's time to watch something you did think you would like. Doctor Strange ruled the first one. I'm like, this is sick. Turns out it's butt fucked by fucking Hillary Clinton, dude. It was, dude. It was fully. <laughs> you know, Hillary has a show with what's, Chelsea coming out. What's it called? What's How it to called? eat kids. I can't remember. What it's How called. to eat kids. <laughs> <laughs> also, Bradley Cooper from Guardians of the Galaxy yes. is dating Uma Abedin. What? Yeah. Bradley Uma Cooper Abedin. is. Yeah. 
is dating He's trying Uma to keep Abbey. you guys up on Uma Conrad. Uma Abedin yeah. is oh, Anthony she's... Weiner's girlfriend, bro. I thought you were saying Uma Thurman, like from Kill Bill. No, 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 she's a little bit older. Uma Abedin. Is... I wouldn't touch a woman over thirty-eight myself. True. <laughs> <laughs> You're so greedy for the story. Hillary. <laughs> <laughs> Hillary Clinton's um, like top Whoa. advisor or Yo, whatever. For real, like Smarty Jones, bro. <laughs> yeah. Uma <laughs> Abedin. Got the no, fucking chill, dude. Biggest jumps I've ever seen in my life. They're supposed to, they're supposed Supposedly a video of her and Hillary Clinton. It's called Frazzle Drip of them skinning a little girl's face off and putting it over their oh, face. I was in war mode. Do you honestly and truly in your heart believe she, <laughs> she used to be married to Anthony Weiner? Weiner, Weiner, yeah. Weiner. Anthony Weiner was. Weiner's honey, Weiner. <laughs> no, Anthony Weiner's Weiner. innocent, dude. What? Anthony Weiner's innocent, dude. Let it go. Weiner's laptop, dude. There's a lot of fucking uh, New York police officers who are in deep trouble. What over the that. fuck? Bradley Cooper was the man. Why is he doing this? Uma Abedin's kind of hot, dude. Fausti and Dean. Tom has a boner for her. Ugh. Yeah, yeah. Spade's it. got a boner for HRC. Yeah, this chick is. This is a chill nip. with that, dude. You know, fuck I had a. I had a dream, dude. God, yo. You can't control your dreams. Yep. Yeah, but. I do have weird, but I had a boner for Anne Hesh when I was little. You were going to talk about that? Okay. Fucking, Hear me uh, out. Dude, this lady's fucking 20% mouth. Hear me <laughs> out. This is Baraka. wild, bro. Dude, hear me out, dude. Her her boyfriend was a notorious fucking sex pervert. She probably knows some sick moves. Oh. <laughs> now you think she's a bit of a freak in, sh- in the sheets? A bit of a freak in the sheets. Probably yeah. down with a little bit of role play. I get Not real, ki- I get real confused. Bradley, <laughs> Cooper, <laughs> probably down with Bradley Cooper could do... Yeah, but Bradley Uma Abedin, the bro, bro, but Uma Abedin, dude. Yeah, you want to talk about a guaranteed cry? Silver Linings Playbook. Yeah. Oh god, guaranteed yeah. cry. You, know, yeah, you can't be hit real me weird with uh, crazy. You know what's that? You can't be hit me with sympathy for crazy. What do you mean? You can't be hit me with that. Fucking oh, dude, so me up, bad. Man. I cry. I'm also, one of the most vicious scenes is the fucking the cuck my scene. Cherie. My Sharia Moore. Yeah, when yeah. He's, that's playing, he's like the, our wedding scene was playing, and her yeah. pussy was getting eaten by the history teacher. Or yeah, whatever. yeah. And the guy was like, "I think you should leave." Yeah, <laughs> that's fucked up. And that's now what, he's fucking banging the chompers lady. You know what trips me up, dude? When, I saw it last night. I went to the bar with my buddy last night, and this dude rolled in. He was like fucking white haired, probably like in his seventies for sure. And some chick rolled up who's probably like in her young thirties, and, and she sat next to him. And I hit Ricky up, and I was like, "Yo, dude." What do you think? That's fucking father daughter, or is that fucking? And he's like, "Oh, it's father daughter." And then she started touching him. I was like, "No, nah, brother, that's fucking." Mother. Dude, <laughs> me and Spade did this in North Third. There was this fucking Asian dude with a girl. They were sitting in the same booth, and we're like, "Look at this fucking guy. He's all over. This is insane." We're sitting there looking at him, like laughing the whole time. The dude gets up and whips out the blind fucking cane. We're just like, "Oh fuck!" Like the whole time his hand was on this chick, and then, he was just blind his balls. And then I'm hitting Bill with like, "Dude, they have like hyper hyper sound, so they yeah, can hear he everything." Easily he, heard me. He yeah. heard everything. Oh. Saying, yeah. like, how about, like, oh, dude, how about shit. the guy at the Christian coffee shop? The guy wearing like painter's pants, fully making out with a fucking young babe in the parking lot. In the parking lot I don't right? remember this. In the coffee shop, we're we're on Harrisburg, Mechanicsburg. What? Oh yeah, remember that, guy that? Was dude, nice. we, we went out, and this guy was fully yes. just fucking making out like seventh grade making. The guy was probably fifty years he old. Was, he must have been. It must have been so hot with like a thirty year old. Oh, he was just oh, fully so grabbing hot. ass in this parking lot. But it was, was an insane place. It was in the Mechanicsburg. It was an yeah. Insane but I mean, place. that dude's getting an opportunity to get fully hard again. Tip the hat, you know. Yeah, it was. And dude, Shane gave him like a nice wink, and he's kind of looked at him like, "What? Said, what? What do, you, what do you mean? What, what's? Yeah, like, that's you know what I mean, yeah, dude. You know Bro, what you're you know what I mean. coming in those fucking painted yeah, pants. Yeah, you just in the parking lot of the fucking Christian <laughs> coffee shop, dude. I, I actually want to hear about how Shane got mobbed by a goth guy. Oh, oh fuck, fuck, dude, this was what? vicious, dude. We were, at, we were in front of the kebab, sucking kebab. We getting a kebab. We were about to suck them. Australia. And say, Thank you, chef. Congratulations, chef. <laughs> My congratulations to the chef. Next kebabs time a, are like sandwiches, right? Get a kebab. Yeah. Uh. Get a kebab, suck it, and then go, my congratulations to the chef. Yeah, we're, talking, we're talking about sucking kebabs in front yeah. of the Muslim proprietors. Or fucking, oh, 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 thank you, sir. Oh. And then we're standing there, and this fucking Australian goth comes up. Behind, I was wearing a bucket hat. He comes up behind me and almost takes it off. Yeah, he lifts it like four, a stranger, inches, dude. four inches off his lifted head. Lifted it off my head. And then he was like, I used to wear those hats when I was a boy. And what kept, the and fuck? And I, I, spat, I was like, nice fucking gauge earrings, dude. He didn't even turn around. <laughs> <laughs> so then I'm, I'm eating my kebab. You're slave to the state, bro. I'm eating <laughs> my kebab. 
<laughs> staring at this fucking dude. I'm like, I'm going to kill this fucking guy. They were Holy so fuck. good, dude. The kebabs were kebab so did good. take me out of a little. Oh, I was so jealous good. of your meat bowl that you got. Yeah, I just I got was a bowl of meat and lettuce. So that was also yeah. going on. I was jealous True. about that. You were fighting a battle <laughs> on multiple <laughs> fronts. <laughs> I was, I was, this is a pincer move. I was the good guys in World War II at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Matt got more meat than me. <laughs> and then this guy gets up to leave, and I'm like, all right, nice. He's by himself. He's walking by us. I hit him with the fucking... Smiley face, thumbs up. Oh, fuck. Dude, he doesn't. Yeah. Dude, not even that. He, he goes, flinch. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then he just goes. Oh, my God. Oh, God. It might as well have been a real gun. <laughs> it, it, it was over. It was, I've never been. Holy I've been, shit. I was, like, it was oh funny, though. Oh, my God. It was bro. so funny. Alpha me beta. <laughs> it was. Uh, dude, I, I, you, I you encountered a trip. fucking Sigma, bro. Oh, that's yeah, a that's Sigma. Insane. It was crazy, dude. I would have murdered this. I guy. think he was fucked up. I think he was. Not like retarded, but I think he was like yeah, he was blacked drugs. out. Yeah, he was on yeah, drugs. Yeah, he was. So. The fact, I mean, on some goth. You're drugs. his son, bro. I am. My <laughs> daddy mean. lives in Brisbane. <laughs> <laughs> I have an Australian daddy, and he's a goth. <laughs> Holy fuck! Daddy beautiful as a goth daddy. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, daddy gorgeous. <laughs> I mean, it hurt. Dude, it I was, couldn't imagine. Yeah, that would fucking piss me off. Some guy just knocked my hat off my head like two months before, yeah. so I was. Yeah, but that guy was at least black. Shirtless black dude. Yeah, shirtless he was black young, dude is everybody's he wasn't daddy, like fully dude. That's every, nuts. still everybody's father. Yeah, true. That guy can make you his son in public, and there's nothing you can do about it. The state will hold you responsible. True, <laughs> true. true. <laughs> Goth in Australia, I had every legal right to beat the hell out of. They would have paid you probably five hundred bucks. That would have looked like the fight. That would have looked like the fight. Nah, the anarchist. <laughs> it really would have. Nah, you gotta see the. Dude, I can't wait to watch the fight. The anarchist is so. <laughs> God, the most rogue shit I've ever this seen. This dude Burrick comes out and he's like, I don't ever like a dog. I inject stem cells. My cock, and he's got like you see it, it's fucking hilarious, dude. Oh, I can't wait to see yeah. it. I'm gonna check that out. I think we're gonna look back at dudes psychedelic bragging the same way we look like dudes that would drink brag back in the day back yeah. in high school. I think dudes being like, I've done every psychedelic, yeah. <laughs> sweet, cool man. <laughs> You're I still had here. Four, I had four rummy coats, <laughs> yeah, the true ones that are dead. Yeah, the guys who really did it, like dudes bragging about drinking. There is a Nathan out there. Yeah. Oh yeah. That yeah. dude drank, dude. Yeah. You might have bar you might up, talk up about top. drinking. Yeah. There's a Homer Simpson that just was like, <laughs> yo, booze over my family right now. It's Julian Palmer, dude. No one can beat him. Do you know how bad that dude's liver and shit must have hurt? Leading it into must have killed, dude. Leading into it. <laughs> yes. Early on, that must have hurt so fucking bad. I can't imagine. Stuff in like organs hurting you. I mean, it's one thing if your muscles, but if your organs fucking ache, that would suck. That's a whole different kind so the, of pain. Dude, we just, imagine waking up and seeing your yellow hand. Your and kids still asking drinking. you to stop. And being like, yeah. fuck this. I get fucked up. Ripping the tumbler. I mean, it's a physical addiction. You get, you get trapped in that, dude. You're fucking not getting out. He's addicted to being yellow. Oh, yeah. You're, 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 <laughs> you're not getting out of that, bro. Color. Man, this dun, looks dun, 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 dun. <laughs> You see the clouds part? <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, Man. it is. It is. It is physical. Physical, but yeah, dude, the goth. Blues. What? The goth got him. That was tough. The goth got me, and that stuck with me the rest of the week. Although it was my first ten minutes on stage every night, it was making yeah, it was fun of the fact funny. that Australians have goths. Oh, Just to do this, like I'm so dark and twisty. <laughs> Everything. Oh, I think about is death, man. <laughs> Just like shut up, dude. You live at the beach. Yeah, it was you can't be a goth. It's just the beach, right? Pretty much, except like for everywhere you go. Once you go inland, yeah. then it's fucking the outback. Yeah, it's the outback. It's the outback, but no one's Fucked there. Up. Also, you'd be shocked at how big these fucking cities were. Oh, it was crazy. I couldn't believe it. They're like Melbourne was the New size York, of Manhattan. Philly, dude. Yeah, it looked like New York, Manhattan. <laughs> Sydney was five thousand, five million, I think. Damn. Sid Sydney was big. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> heck! Is that what we're doing? <laughs> You got That's one? a Sydney size fart, dude. <laughs> That's a tight <laughs> hole, dude. Of course it's a tight hole, Bill. Jesus. I don't Christ. live a different lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> one out of the norm. Oh, my Queer, God. if you will. Oh, my God. Oh, I can smell that. Fuck. Sorry about that. <laughs> that was a lot Ew, of air. Matt. That was a lot of air coming out. Although, after, after uh, dude, I was constipated <laughs> for like two days. You, oh, yeah, dude. We, I, I swallowed every shit I was about to take. I was on a plane. I wasn't going to yeah. shit. You never shit on a plane? Never. Really? Never. Hey, I, I mean, I'm, I'm not totally you, opposed I, to it, but yeah. I couldn't. I shit on the way out. On the way back, 
I just we didn't have it in us. There was no shit. Lockdown. All only break, only food we ate was breakfast for like a day and a half. Holy fuck! We would just dude. get to a different airport and eat you breakfast tired. again. Huh? You tired? I'm fucking jet lagged forever, bro. Yeah. Dude, we would eat break. We ate like, I mean, we left sat Sunday morning from Australia at like five o'clock in the morning. Then we flew for like literally eighteen hours. Two little flight, like a little flight, then a sixteen hour flight. We arrived in Canada. You guess oh. guess what guess what day it was Sunday morning around six a.m. Yeah, I showed my, midway through the we were flying. I showed my Matt my phone. I was like, "This is what time we woke up today." Fourteen was, hours later, God. so weird, dude. It's very weird. It I feels know like which you're, way's up. It feels like you're traveling from a different dimension because you, you go don't from know like which summer to up. winter. Yeah, right. Summer to winter, back to summer. Time difference all fucked up. I was literally like. You see those like multiverse movies where they throw up. It's like you're yeah. everything everywhere. All if you're watching once. like Doctor Strange <laughs> really too. Well, I was more Doctor Strange too when I got on the roof and threw up. And the good, powerful, <laughs> kick-ass Latina is like, "You're gonna throw up." And I'm not gonna throw up. Like, you're, that movie really fucked you up. It is. It, it sucked, dude. It's, it's not getting. I'm not getting used to it. Every single time it happens, I'm still mad. Because you can predict the whole movie after. Like, okay. Every single time, I'm like, "Oh yeah, all right, great." Like, yeah. I, I, Threw on Predator. I was like, all right. Pray. There it is. It, dude, it Immediately, makes... Immediately, I'm like, there the, it is. The problem Fuck. is it makes the whole movie very predictable. That's what stinks. Yeah, my cousin called. When we were watching Prey, it was like 15 minutes in, and we were with a dude who already saw it, and he guessed what happens at the end. He just started laughing and said, yeah, and I just turned it off. This movie Yeah, every single blows. movie. As soon you as I saw... get to the Frenchman. No. Wait, wait till you see that. That's... She killed that fucking mountain lion, and then it was game over. Yeah. Turned it off. Yeah, I watched Doctor... I mean, as soon as I watched the beginning, I'm like, oh, okay, so... He's going to, at one point towards the end, be like, you got to learn how to control your powers. Only you can control them. And it was... You're the strongest person ever. That was literally it. You have... Whoa, there's so much power. I saw a funny tweet today. It was about... There's a show called She-Hulk. Okay. <laughs> it's a bit, I guess there's a female Hulk. Uh, what, does somebody, it, what does somebody do to trigger her? Leave, like, a dish on the counter? <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I mean... <clears throat> That's it, dude. Guys are the best. That's that's as good as it gets. It's funny that you bring that up, Matt, because the problem with the male Hulk was that he had to deal with two different people inside of him. Yeah. So like the Hulk had like the Hulk inside of him. Yeah. And he would have to fight with the other guy. Uh huh. But women go through like such fear and anger all the time with the way society's built that when Simple. she turns into the Hulk, she's just <clears throat> totally normal and she's totally used to it. So she can handle being the Hulk and she can handle being a woman and a powerful. And that's the movie? And a powerful attorney at the same time. So she, because I noticed in the preview, she is Hulked out like constantly. Yeah, she doesn't have to fight the other guy. There's no other guy. Because women, yeah. women deal with this on a regular basis. Or is basis. that because we just turn a blind eye to women spazzing like freaks in public? Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she Hulks, uh, in, the, in the, somebody tweeted it today. It was a picture of her shelf in She Hulk's apartment. It's a Ruth Bader Ginsburg statue. Oh, what? Dude. Michelle Obama statue. Dude. Like, I'm not, I am a fucking strong woman. <laughs> fucking cursive bullshit she got from Michael's. You know, if, they, if it was true, they wouldn't have to fucking do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Dude, no, I mean, it's like it the was, kids who ran cross country with the t-shirt that was like, I have a real sport. There's no timeouts. Yeah, right. It's not football. Football sucks. It's like, yeah. bro. It's like, all right. Come on. Nothing better. Than Come on, dude. It's the gridiron. Yeah, true. Speak, all right. Before we... <laughs> Did he really? <laughs> yeah, he quit. But he said he just walked off. Off the field, home? Literally walked off. He was in the outfield and just walked out. He said they had to run, like, a bunch of sprints, and he got done with the sprints, and they just left. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, I'm not playing this. He just walked away? Yeah, Lemaire's king. God, that's so yeah, fucking he's funny. he's so excited about a walk. Shut up, dude. Yeah, what the hell is that? I mean, to be fair, it's pretty brave that he didn't completely well, jump. That's why he plays for Atlanta. Yeah, true. He's a brave guy. True. Yo. Now, now we I made mean, even with Here the hammer, go. I'm still dishing Here out we go. absolute dimes. You thought it was inside. You ducked inside, pussy. Yeah, I... Uh, I'd beat the hell out of that I treated guy. those balls like grenades. They came at me, and I was... Oh, my God, dude. I think my fully. last year of baseball, I didn't have a hit. <laughs> 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 I just got walked. I would just stand there and hope for a to walk. To be fair, I think I've had... I played baseball since, not including T-ball, obviously, I was a bit of a monster, but it, I hit it like almost every single time, but the yeah. playing baseball, like when they started pitching, I think I was like, I think I had like six hits my entire like four-year yeah. four baseball career, Yeah, it was, and that's it was me incredible. being generous to myself. Yeah, all of a sudden, everybody hit puberty, and people were throwing the ball like 60 miles an hour. <laughs> yeah, man. You get a pitcher with armpit hair, and I just be like, <sighs> fucking... 
please. Kid God with the mustache help me. from the public school comes in. He's dealing. Oh, oh dude. I had to back out. He saw a fifth. That's what happened. There was a tall public school man child throwing yeah. like 57 miles an hour. And I was like, Mom, I'm not playing baseball. Yeah, this baseball year. sucks. Mom. That kid's parents are divorced, and he's fucking screaming, fucking screaming them down the pike. My last year, I won. We won the World Series, dude. Did you? And I, for real, I'm not sure I recorded one hit. <laughs> still got the ring. That's all it counts. Still got the ring. Shout out Mike Scott. Well, you're probably more. We had, we had a black kid that was just going yard every game. Was he? Shout out Mike Scott. We did it. What uh? What was your position in baseball? Right field. Right, you right field. No, I was a catcher. I was gonna say catch and first. I was going to say first, tall guy. Yeah, it was easy. I didn't really take you for a, a catcher. Lefty. I was able to get that fucking right-handed mid out. I didn't take, I didn't take you for a catcher, but as a first case down the line. No, they tried to put me a catcher once, and I can't catch. Yeah, I stopped. So the umpire was just getting drilled. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, get this dude out of the game. I'm getting fucking hit with I'm every pitch. With this. Yeah, I, they tried to put me as a catcher, and I was like fully like, I think this might be my calling, and I was, it was the same thing. I was... Yeah, I thought catcher was cool. No, I was not good at it. I, I wanted I wanted to be cool. <laughs> I feel like my legs would fall asleep being down like that. I'd pop up and be like, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, I was not a fan. That ball hit in my hand after a while, I'd be like. <sighs> yeah, it hurt, dude. Baseball sucks. Baseball truly fucking sucks. It might be my least favorite sport ever. <laughs> I really don't like baseball. It's fun to watch, though. It is actually exciting. Yeah. yeah in the playoffs, trust me, these games have been pretty exciting. Are they good to watch? Yeah, they're fun. Not especially, a fan. especially it's it's a purely drinking sport. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. go to a bar, you watch it. Doesn't nothing matters. That's true. You can kind of you can miss out. three hours of the fucking game. Yeah, that's that's I like you know? I like watching ninth inning baseball. I will say that that's fun. yeah, it's exciting. Ninth inning baseball. Call me. I'll come. I'll come to the bar. I'll come dude. over to the ninth inning. I'll come to the bar. Sip sip one brewski. Head out. Sip a high noon. Actually, actually, we did it. High noons are great. I was sipping them. Dude, I got this. Yeah, I, I was sipping all kinds of weird shit this weekend. Did you ever hear of uh, Cutwater? Yeah. Dude, they- You're not, drinking Cutwaters in uh, Florida. Florida? Yeah. Okay. That's when we be, were down there. That might be where I, I saw it. But I had- There was one I got that was uh, Pina Colada. Yeah. Dude, it was 13% alcohol. Yeah. We got it's fucking-, like fucking We cannabis. got annihilated in Panama City on those. Is that what it was? Yeah. We kept buying those every day. Dude, I fucking drank one of them. It was 13% alcohol. A can of 13%. Yeah. Just a drink. Why do you think I was drowning in the fucking water? <laughs> true, true. I almost died off those things, dude. Yeah, man. I fucking sipped one of those Pino Colados, and I was like, I was fucked. The when I was young, could have been completely well, fucking snatched. I could have had the Honda Odyssey fucking ripped out of my hand. When I was a young warthog, dude, I used to crush pina coladas. I love peenies, dude. Peenies are so good. I love penis coladas, dude. Penis coladas. I mean, dude, for real. Do you think there was a guy who jizzed into a penis or a pina colada and then someone drank it and said it was a penis colada? Definitely. Yeah, I'm going to sure. say definitely on that. Can you look that up, Gardini? Go to any search, penis colada. Penis colada, jizzing in a pina colada. Jizzing in a pina colada, giving it to your friend and saying, <clears throat> if you like penis coladas. Seriously, look up semen cocktail, semen infused cocktails. That's got to be, a th I guarantee that's a thing. Semen infused cocktails. It's coming up on Urban Dish. It's a fun game to play to find out like what's not, if you can find a thing that's not on the internet. <laughs> I like to play that game with myself sometimes. In my quieter moments. Wait, what the hell? This seems like a real recipe. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. For penis colada with semen. Well, how much? You have, <laughs> how many ropes? It's called semenology, the semen bartender's handbook. Dude, I told you. Is this a joke? That guy's in P-town, dude. That's what I was <laughs> that guy lives in P-town, <laughs> dishing out fucking cocktails. Like, well. what's, read it, read it, Guardian. This is a pour the schnapps into a shot glass and add a few Got drops it. of grenadine. Slowly okay. and very slowly, add the unmelted semen on top of more grenadine. So is semen something else if it's unmelted? Unmelted? That sounds like he's freezing. Oh, yeah, hard you're, keeping, semen. you're keeping the semen on chill. You're jizzing into Jizz an ice cube thing, yeah. And then what happens? And then uh, you drink it and you're a bit gay. Schnapps? What was it? What was the was the recipe? It is <laughs> schnapps and grenadine, and then uh, some cum and cubes. some jizz ice cubes, and then a little more grenadine in the cubes of jizz. How much jizz does this guy have? I guess he's just getting it from whoever. Is that where? <laughs> it sounds like he's got a, probably a pretty unlimited supply. Yeah, for real. Would you sperm donor to that? 
Like, yo, it's just guys, just gay guys. Are gonna guys are going to drink your jizz out of an ice cube? Yeah. I would have no problem. Yeah, yeah I'm that. saying that'd be yeah. great. It depends how much they're giving me. 50 bucks. 50 bucks a load. <laughs> Dude, there's, I would, so many things. there's so many articles on common drinks. Yeah, man. Vice did one. Told you. <laughs> Can you beat the internet? Can you come up with something that's not online? Right here, right now? Uh, no, I don't think so. Type in mold all Batman costumes. That's what I, was I guarantee yeah. there's all. Oh, it's gonna be Batman, Batman bar crawls. Gathering yeah, Batman. Yeah, this happens all the time. Shh. <laughs> Babe. Do, do, Shh. Do, do, We're working. Do a uh, guy puts a pumpkin up his butt. That's a hundred percent. You real. think someone put a pumpkin up their butt? Yes, yeah, it's a small one. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Oh yes, of course, Matt. <laughs> Use your fucking noggin. <laughs> Use your head for once. Okay, we have to beat the internet before we leave. I can think of a uh, <laughs> nice one. Let me say. I mean, you could just say a guy fed a goat to a horse. That didn't happen because goats. Of yeah, of course. Goats. Man fucks capybara. <laughs> Actually, my dude. I know. That's, that's what I'm like. Yeah, that's, that's borderline. True. Guy Fox Python's a nice one. You're gonna like to That'll watch. That'll pop up. That's a real one. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Did you see a guy put a pumpkin up his butt? No, nah, it's like a lot of jokes. I can't find. A, let me type in. S- oh wait, you mean X-X. like a real actual video or something? You're not gonna be able to like Google. something you never. It just doesn't. It's just completely. Google image would be a guy shoving a pumpkin up his ass, but not a real <laughs> wait, one. Is it a fake? It's deep fake. It's all deep. Uh, fake. There's a lot of it. videos on a on Pornhub. Of pumpkins of guys, of guys having sex with pumpkins, <laughs> but none of the pumpkin inserting the man. As True. far as well, I like pumpkin tell. adjacent porn, For fucking no. I bet some dudes have shoved that stem up their ass. That's a dude. That's low key thorny stem. Yeah, uh, that would no, not be a good. Stem. Pumpkin stems are low. I told you about the my Big Mac pumpkin. Dude, that thing's a talk of the town right now. Oh yeah, you True. got a big ass I mean, pumpkin. Dude, you saw my. You noticed my that's cornucopia. That's a cornucopia, bro. That's We've got a beautiful fall harvest cornucopia. Did a bunch of Native Americans come and share that with you? Yes, an autumnal harvest. <laughs> hey, they get a bunch of Native Americans come share that. A bunch their- of Natives came in and they realized I was watching the Christopher Columbus biopic. <laughs> and they had it out. I said, well, you got to admit what he did was brave. <laughs> it was pretty impressive to cross the Atlantic Ocean. Well, dude, speaking of... Uh- I'm, so, I'm going to run us through the news headlines, dude. There's nothing nothing good. Russia, Ukraine, they got that pinned to the top, and I never click it. I said, well, let me know when Ukraine wins <laughs> on that one. A New York City rapper turned himself in for murder 13 years ago. Now his prosecutors want him freed. Boring. Um, Louis Which K- rapper? Huh? Which rapper? I don't know. Let me see. I mean, he's 13 years ago. I don't know if anyone's... Uh, Trevor Coleman. Okay, that probably wasn't his rap name. Yeah, G Depp was he G Depp? Oh, okay, it was G Depp. He used to be with P Diddy. I was gonna, yeah, P Diddy had a couple bros take some falls. Yeah, Shine was, is Shine was, still locked up? I think so. I think Shine might have died. Diddy and Diddy and Mace did he die? They might have buried him with DMX. They might have fucking buried him, dude. Uh. May, you know Mace and, Sean and uh, Diddy have beef? Yeah. Like, very, like, dude, Diddy's been crushing him. Saying he became a scam preacher. Damn, Shine's Belizean? Huh? Shine's from Belize? That'd be sick if he was Damn, on he was born in Belize. security force. Now tell me who want to fuck See, with us. See, yeah, G-Dep, they want him out of jail. I don't know if that'll happen. Uh, Fox News have to bite their... Either I want to already said about I mean I'm sure you could it was just written by a corporation. There is no question that Kanye or Ye was going to have to be taken down after what happened on the uh, blah blah blah. We cut him down. Um why Anthony Fauci is the greatest public servant I have known. Sick. Dude, why shines again. in the Belize House of Representatives. Is he really? What the fuck is this? Belize House of Representatives for Mesopotamia? <laughs> hey, what the fuck? Wait, what? Shine is a politician in Belize. After he didn't he murder a guy? 2012, Shine critical of the critical of the Obama administration endorsed Republican Mitt Romney. Let's go. Dude, Shine fucking Let's rules. Fucking go. Shine's now a member of the House of Representatives in Belize. He was nominated by the United Democratic Party to stand as candidate, blah, 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 in the Belize city based Mesopotamia constituency. 
Damn, they have, a, they have a political party called Mesopotamia. I think Belize might have a. Yeah. That's weird. Sometimes abbreviated as MESOP. Did he, didn't he go to jail for murder, though, or did he not? Uh, I think he, I thought his was gun charges. Oh, okay. That's what's up. Damn, Giselle Bunchin. She- it was a shooting incident oh, okay. involving Matthew Scar Allen. <gasps> Guy loved Lion King at a Manhattan <laughs> <laughs> at a Manhattan club. Resulted in three people being injured. Shine then twenty one, with an album pending, was charged and later convicted with attempted murder, assault, and reckless endangerment. No, right. Puffy Combs was arrested but acquitted on all charges. So he was sentenced to ten years in prison. Oh, okay. So he got out when he was 31. He probably did like seven years. In fact, yeah, he probably got out earlier. Yeah, he probably didn't. Dude, Giselle Bunchen sees spiritual healer after leaving Thomas Brady. Thomas Brady's the man. Giselle trying to bring a great man down. Yeah. She's saying, you have to stop playing and hang out with me. It's like, lady, he's the greatest. Let him do whatever he wants. Yeah, let him play. What native land are you on? That's what's up. NPR is giving a map of native lands. Oh, nice. Uh, so I, they when they scramble all the states up, I can't tell where I am. I think we're on Sikakog. Let me see. On Manhattan. I think on Manhattan. It looks like Sikakog yeah. lands. N- uh, I'm gonna get. Can I ask Google to switch my map, like my GPS, up to just native land? Nice. I'm from the Monongahela culture. You're from Monongahela. So are you a little? Nice. I'll take that. Nice. Yeah, you can tell. I I always thought my neighborhood was more of a melting pot of various native tribes. Yeah, it's just towns. The Monongahela, we got the river, bro. The Appalachies, Seminole. Yeah, it's pretty fun stuff. Guys, this podcast needs to stop. Yeah. We We need to put an end to this. An hour precisely. One hour precisely? Yes. Wow, that's pretty crazy. Um, Guys, we're just getting something in before you go to Skankfest, all right? Yeah, we, we oh yeah, we didn't, a lot. Of, we didn't even need to do this. We got to do two podcasts at Skankfest mm-hmm. this weekend, and now we're out of shit to talk about. Truly, are not. Well, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure there's gonna be some wild and crazy stories at Skankfest. Oh, dude, something <laughs> crazy. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy. There's gonna, guys are gonna do mushrooms. I'm gonna do mushrooms. I think I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna try not to booze too hard. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do some mushrooms. That'd be fun. I think it just don't get me wrong. I'm gonna drink. <laughs> sure. I'm just gonna try to limit it. Yeah, you're gonna put the mushroom. You're gonna put the governor on. I'm gonna put mushrooms. the kibosh. For sure. Have and someone just come, just fucking. Yeah. Just. I still have the other half of the candy bar. I ate, so Sick. I'm gonna indulge. Have fun. Thank you for coming. Bye, guys. Hang along. I'm so twisted. That stuff stinks. That's really great, though. You had that. I had a good night. I had uh Dude, doing stand up once every like four months and just being like, What the fuck's gonna happen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very fun. That's nice. <clears throat> I went to the comedy cellar, I had a good time. Nice. Brought James down. James got to hang out Oh, there. nice. Hung out with Edelman the whole time from the Patriots. That was what? pretty fun. Although it was a little disheartened because Edelman's he's a smaller guy compared to NFL players. Right, right. He's a normal human. In fact, he's a jacked, handsome guy. Yeah. But a bit of a size queen. I'm, I'm a size queen, especially when I'm trying to show off for the <laughs> Australian. You know how anytime you're around British or Australian, you're like, American football players would kill you guys. Yeah, we, you were telling them that. I was hitting with it. I was like, dude, our guys would rip your heads off. Yeah, true. And then we'd run into the smallest guy ever in the NFL. <laughs> and he's like, that's one of your footballers. I was like, uh. yes. <laughs> and he's one of the best of all time. <laughs> he's so good. He's a three-time Super Bowl winner. Fuck, dude. Yeah. Edelman's the man. He was down the cellar. He, I think he has a show with Sam Murrell. Nice. I think they have a podcast to go. So who's down there kicking it? The pro sports guys are pro knocking sports the guys, doors down, dude. Uh, they, they heard want about the money. Because they're the bros. Yeah, they are they the king bros. They heard about it. Yeah, dude. They, they heard want about a the cast. bread. They Barstool's want a cast. dishing out fucking money for the boys. Really? Yeah, there's a guy, Pat Beverly. He's a, you'd like him, actually. Yeah, what's he up to? Him and Ron. Yeah, him and Ron. <laughs> I'm sorry. Somebody fucking called me. Oh, my God. Damn, phone. Son of a bitch. Thing yeah, never like stops, it. bro. The phone? Telephone. Yeah, man. It's almost flip phone time. Wouldn't be a bad thing. It's almost flip phone Get time. Get a little navigation Just, in I'd car. be done with everybody, though. <laughs> no, that people would be... ring you. You fucking... Yeah. Hello. Yellow. Hey. Oh. Yeah, dude. My dad, every time his phone Yellow. rings, he stops and goes, God damn it. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Kevin McCusker. 
<laughs> Phil's Phil's been missing me though. Really? He's been calling me, dude. He's been calling he you. He calls. Up? He goes, "Hey, what, the, what day are you going to be getting into South Bend?" Oh, like he's just man. trying to figure yeah, he's out. Making small talk. Yeah. But anytime Phil goes on a trip, he gets nervous. Really? He doesn't leave. He doesn't leave. Yeah, that's true. Like the Florida trip when he came down yeah, there, that was big. Yeah. He was like, "Okay, I got to set this flight up." Dude. He just was calling. He's like, "What flight are you on? How do I get that?" I'm like, "Dude, just have Katie buy the flight." You'll yeah, we'll right. do it. Yeah, yeah. My parents won't fly. Yeah, I'm like, eh, that mass stuff's kind of weird. They drive to Florida. <laughs> they <laughs> yeah. drive. They drove the whole time. Driving rules. I was, I like, just, I was like, "You, you fly for an hour? Just put a fucking just yeah. put it on. Don't even put it up on your nose." She was like, "Ah, that I'd stuff's kind of weird." In the car for forty-seven fucking, fucking hours, hours, dude. dude. They'll just drive from Philadelphia or from outside of Philadelphia straight outside to Florida. Outside of Philly's not that bad to New York or to Florida, I mean. It's it's like they stop. Yeah, they, you hit they 95, stop. hit a little south of the border. Dude, they do it all. Their house has got, they're Florida strong right now. They have a house in Florida. They oh, just got shit. destroyed. Yeah. Where at? Cape Coral. Oh, yeah. You got the hat? Yeah. I, fucking I almost grabbed it on my head. I was like, <laughs> where is it? Yeah, dude. They fucking had to go down and like, they're Florida's like strong. putting HEPA filters in it right now. They're like, they've, they've driven back and forth like five times since. That's nice. Yeah, that's they don't nice. like they don't like joking about that. Oh, really? Like, you guys, house, you guys, Florida strong, and my mom's genuinely upset. She's like, "Well, you know, we're trying to." Oh, like, the bad. dream the thing yeah. we worked for our whole lives <laughs> got ruined. <laughs> you know, sure, the insurance will get it. <laughs> Come on, that'd be that's a nightmare having to call fucking insurance. They'll fuck you too. They'll be like, "Oh, well, you don't I'll have like, like yeah. flash flood insurance or some yeah. bullshit." It's like you motherfuckers, dude. <laughs> Juice. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm not gonna say who's doing that. <laughs> it is. <this. laughs> now, you've seen him do that, right? Oh, no. Have you seen Kanye do that? No, dude. He, he's what? talking about getting diagnosed. He's like, now I'm not allowed to say what race the guy was, who the doctor was, who misdiagnosed me. You know, I get in trouble if I say what race it was, so I'm not gonna do that. He was Jewish. <laughs> he does it. He does it. Hold on, you gotta see it. I, was, I mean, fuck it. Well, I thought you just made that up. I'm no, like, that's the funniest shit I've ever seen. It's the funniest shit of all time, dude. Yeah, hit him with it. Damn, you had that loaded? Oh, I mean, it's circuit. It's. Let me see it. Get the audio, dude. Hi. Hey, I'm not gonna say what race, what people, uh, doctor. And what hospital and what media went to? We know I can't say that. It was a Jewish doctor. <laughs> you know I can't say that. <laughs> it was a oh my doctor. god! How funny is that? Shit? That's hilarious. Hitting the fucking cross arms. I'm not gonna do it. Not even taking a breath. Just <laughs> it was. He's like, I'm not gonna stop doing it. He tried. He tried to stop. He tried. He tried his best to stop. He was like, they're saying I can't say anymore. I'm going to stop right now. I'm going to stop. No, I'm not. It was just. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm never stopping. His brain did a full 360. Dude, did you see Puff Daddy as the Joker? What? Yes, it, it kind of bothers me. I don't like it. Has Puff Daddy come out against? He hasn't come out against, uh, whatchamacallit, Kanye at all. Doesn't I think Puff Daddy's still riding with Kanye on the low. I think so. This is, this is Puff. Spooky. What the fuck? Dude, he actually did white face under the Joker face. He did. True. He had white neck. It's twisted. Yeah, Diddy's wild, dude. Did you see his BET He's Lifetime wild. Award? Like it was like a. It's called like the King Ooh. Award uh, speech he gave. Yeah. No, I did not see it. Yeah, dude. Sorry, Diddy's, at... Diddy's on some wild stuff right Diddy's now. Diddy's wild. Yeah, Diddy's a more. I mean, he's obviously him and Kanye are very different, but he's Diddy's on like a hard spiritual kick right now. Really? Oh yeah, now he's all love. Yeah, he's all he's love. Doing a thing bro. Love. He's all love. Diddy's all love. <laughs> what? Dude, Diddy's having fun. Diddy's having fun, dude. That's fucking good. He's very good at it, but it's Are you mad about the white face? I'm not mad about the white face. <laughs> I'm mad that Diddy's I think like sixty. Yeah, dude. He's wiling out. <laughs> That's he gave his speech. He was like you know I've been drinking. You know I've been smoking a little. But oh, he's, right. he's only fifty two. But yeah, that's, he's wild, dude. Fifty two is up there to be Joker. Yeah. Dude, not the Diddy. 
Did he's, did he's, doing, I, he's doing Joker big, though, dude. I do take it back, and I'm not sure exactly how I feel about it. I like your enthusiasm, Fair. and I think you might be right. He's That's pretty sick. That's good Joker. He got in a fight with a guy as Joker, and the guy had no idea who he was. What? I believe. And then the guy, he was like, do you know who I am? And the guy was like, nah, fuck you. He was like, I'm Diddy, dude. He's, luck he's like, you're lucky I'm on love right now. I'd fucking kill you. What? Like, he fully was like, just so you know, fuck. I normally would have killed you. I think Damn. Diddy, isn't Diddy... Didn't, didn't did he do a little murder down there? I think he got some sort of yeah. Some, someone got stabbed, boy. and I think someone went to jail for it, or I don't know. It was in the very beginning. But yeah, that was uh, yeah. He's a he's a wild bro, dude. Did he? Yay! I want. I mean, the time time will only tell what's going to happen to the great rappers of our generation. Yeah. I was just offered to do a podcast, and the guy said, "I'll pay you in Bitcoin." Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead and no. It's a big uh. How's is Bitcoin thriving or is it? I know they're all going down for a long time. Did he? No, Bitcoin. Bitcoin. Big. Yeah. Big. I thought he was, did he's thriving. Is he going down? No, but he's thriving. Did he's thriving. Biddy, I go on Biddy. Uh, Bitcoin. I think it's. I think it's about done. Tanking. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Good run though. Yeah. I invested. I lost a lot of money on that. I'm a dumbass. I sold it. <laughs> I got it late and never sold it. See, I sold it when it was low. And then, I think I uh, bought it at its height and just let it crash. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I bought it at like a couple grand, I think, a little bit, a couple hundred yeah. bucks, and it went up to sixty thousand dollars. And I was like, before I sold it right before that, me like, yo, I'm up a hundred bucks, and then they went up to sixty grand. I went, damn it, that would have been like five thousand dollars. Fuck. Yeah. But you know, again, hey, you live and you learn. Here's the thing: when you do speculative trading, you might win. Now try to reproduce the win. You're going to fucking lose. Yeah. It's a fluke. Then you try to speculate again. It's like you're gonna lose your shirt, dumbass. Yeah, you gonna be shirtless sitting around. Yeah. Like a fucking fat ass. You're gonna be getting stabbed by an anarchist and fucking. An anarchist an and stabbed dude. you in an Acapulco. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I forgot how funny that was. Dude, that's. An Acapulco was very funny. Unbelievable. Dude's just getting capped by like the cartel. Yeah. Be like, my boyfriend's tail. <laughs> just on Facebook Live. Like, oh my God, the cartel's here. Imagine though thinking like you were boys with the cartel and you're like, dude, I'm just built different, bro. I got these Bitcoins. The cartel I'm with the and cartel. Friends. I'm friends with the Mexican cartel. Dude, I, I saw guys. Holy shit. I saw guys try to do this. Imagine getting high. I saw Temple students try to do this in North Philly. Be like, yeah, bro. Like I sell weed and like these guys are out on the block. So like we've been like talking. I was like, bro. <laughs> they are going to fucking scalp you. Home invaded. Every single one. I yeah. know, every single no, I did. Every single dude I know who was like, yeah, bro. Like I was showing him what I had. I was like, let you me know. showed him what you had. <laughs> let me know how that works. Like, you you know, live on this. campus. There's dudes that hit. They go up to Temple and they get fully in their heads. Like, you know, I live in North Philly. Yeah, I and they're like, they start selling a little bit of weed and they literally think they're like, that guy sells drugs. So do I. We should be friends. And it's like, dude, you don't understand. You guys are different fellas. He's, not, bad he's race, not majoring bro. in fucking political <laughs> science. <laughs> yeah, I know two different people. Same thing. That's pretty funny. Po they try to college students would try to post up on the block and just be like, yo, it's good. bro." Thank God I didn't go. I, that, well, that'd be, I would definitely think that I could do that. Dude. I mean, I wouldn't. I'm not that dumb. Yeah. But that, I would want to. I'd I mean, be I that. get the lore. If I was in college and I was like, first time out of the house drinking, I'm like, finally, I can be a, a hoodlum. <laughs> I've lived in, you know, a, a <laughs> suburbs my whole life. Finally, I get to be a rapper. It's reality testing. Yeah, it's yeah. reality testing. Dude, I, I one time blacked out my freshman year and stood out in front of my dorm trying to like street sell marijuana to like all the all the students. I was like, do you guys want any weed? And people just walked by me like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and I just, I came up. You were on the corner clock. <laughs> I thought I was. Dude, I'm standing out front of my door, blacked out. Thank God I didn't get caught. I would got kicked out of school. Yeah, I was like, "Yo, you guys want any weed?" And people walk by and be like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, and I just smoked a blunt on my steps and went to bed and woke up like, "Oh my God, thank God that." Uh, Ooh, that was embarrassing. Yeah, I'll like carry that for came, thirty years. It came back to me. I thought I was so sick, dude. I was out there just like. <laughs> I know it's cliche, you know, it's hack, but getting hit with a memory like that. Yeah. Just laying in bed at night now as an adult and being like, Jesus. Fuck. <laughs> know, what dude. a fucking dork, dude. I know, dude. <laughs> I had like cargo sweatpants <laughs> <set> outside, <laughs> hammered, drinking. I, I used to drink, I would try to drink 240s before I went out. Sick. I would try to drink three and I'd only get through two and a half 40s every time. Dude. Drinking 240s and going out is still the move. It's so crazy. It's fun. I used to go to a place load up on 40s it was three for five hurricanes i would buy like 15 of them for me and my bros and then i would get it put them in a guitar case outside of my dorm and carry my guitar case in with a ton of 40s sick and we would just crack them dude i can never finish I how hard it was to get booze into temple oh you went to drexel drexel drexel's 
No problem. Yeah, it was you hard. Just, you live. You had the, to check in. West Philly was right door. there, so I'd go to a West Philly bar, and they, dude, I looked like I was twelve, and they'd be like, "Here you go." Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. Westchester was easy money. Yeah. Westchester was nice. Yeah. Oh, it was so. Westchester I fucking was love a piece Westchester. Of cake. I might live in Westchester, dude. That might have been my favorite time. Westchester is the well, best. Well, my friend went to the summer program for Westchester. He dude, went to like leading up to. I did that. It did was you the really? best summer of my life. Dude, it was I studied most... Nazi Germany for a summer. Oh. <sighs> did you really? Let me tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> it was the greatest time of my life. <laughs> dude. It was so sick. I'm telling you. I that... went and studied every like three hours a day during yeah. the week. The coolest subject possible. Yeah. World War II, Nazi oh, Germany. Fuck. And then I, I was a ba- I worked as the door guy at fucking oh, Ryan's. Oh my god! I'd get fifty bucks a night from that. Yep. Immediately, I'd buy a black and mild <laughs> and a fucking like fucking Bud Light pounder. Oh, it was nice. <gasps> god damn! And my buddies were on the football team, so they were there for football. Yeah. So it was just us. God. It was great. Yeah, I used to get paid sixty bucks. And I was three years older than everybody. It was fucking so sweet. That's so sweet, dude. I got to be like, guys, wait till you fucking. Uh, yeah, wait till you see what's all about. <laughs> yeah, when I when I was eighteen, I worked at a beer distributor, and I would get sixty bucks. I work one day a week. I got sixty bucks, and I'd put twenty bucks in my shoe and take forty bucks to the bar, and I would drink. My forty bucks would be gone, and I'd smoke a blunt outside, and I'd hail a cab with my twenty dollars in my shoe. Hell yeah! And I'd go home, and I have no money for us. It was just meal plan. The rest it's of the week, I was out week. all my money. Yeah, run out of meal plans. And I would plans. sell middies all week. It was yeah. so fun. I would lose money selling middies all week, and then go back to get my sixty bucks off Mister Kim and be like, "Yo, so I can have fun again." Yeah, <laughs> I would go have fun. <laughs> it's so fun. I spent all of it every single night. Yeah, I go out Friday night. I spent all my money. And if I had twenty bucks, it'd be cab and like a Seven Eleven pretzel, and I'd go back and be like, damn, that ruled. That was so it does sick. Rule. <laughs> that was so fun. I'm just gonna go back to Westchester. <laughs> you should. Westchester's a shit. I want to get reconstructive surgery on my face and just go to back. Try to look younger. Just loop it back. And yes, that'd be sick. Yeah, what the hell? Yeah, I'll just go back to school, dude. Going back to school as an adult is fun. I picked the wrong subject. I fucked up. That's I surrounded all right. myself with the enemy. Yeah. Although again, I kind of wanted to see what was good. I really you did, did good. I wanted to you see You went in and did up. battle. You got canceled while you were doing battle. It's kind of sick. They hated me. <laughs> you were on the news while you dude, were. Dude, <laughs> I told you the one time. They already didn't like you. I told you. I had the one time we were doing, we, we had a fucking class that was power, privilege, and oppression. That was a class, dude. And the one time it yeah, was, was fucking, we had like Latin, we had Latino That day. was Nazi Germany. There was like, we.